You are being stretched and squished right now, and you don't even know. Gravitational waves are ripples that go through space-time, and they're caused by collisions between two very massive objects. These objects, like supermassive black holes, already bend space-time on their own. That's what we see with gravitational lensing, when the light from behind an object gets bent around it. But when they collide, they send ripples through space-time. The way we detect gravitational waves is actually really simple and kind of interesting. So as they propagate through the universe, they stretch and pull on everything, including Earth. So using this idea, LIGO was created. Okay, so how it works. There are two arms in an L shape and each measure about 2.5 miles in length. A laser is pointed down the arm and split into two. Each arm has two mirrors, one at the middle and one at the end. The laser is reflected back into a photo detector. So if Earth is hit by a gravitational wave, it will stretch and squish us and this motion is detected by the photo detector because that stretch and squish changes the travel time of light. You might remember a couple years ago when the astronomy community was all in a tizzy because of the announcement of gravitational wave background. This is kind of like the echo of gravitational waves that were set off right after the Big Bang. You wanna think about it as like, the background noise in a crowded room with people talking. LIGO is actually too small to detect gravitational wave background and Earth is too small to build a device sensitive enough to sense them as well. So we use pulsars. Pulsars spin at a constant rate and they shoot electromagnetic radiation from their poles. So they kind of act like a lighthouse. And using the same concept from LIGO, we can detect gravitational wave background by measuring the change in travel time of light. For more space exploration and astronomy, give me a follow. Oh, and this is me a few years ago at LIGO Livingston in Louisiana.